Hello YouTube, and welcome to another DBT Gamer Special. We are back for the third time with the Resident Evil 8 Village demo. And this time, things are going to be quite different it seems. For some bizarre reason, Capcom has given us a less stricter time limit of one hour. So this video could be up to an hour long, maybe more, maybe less. We have two choices. We can either explore the castle and deal with the uh, vampire ladies possibly trying to kill us and try and explore that nonsense. Or we can head back to the village and explore there. So, hmm... I'm not really sure on which one to pick. I don't really like the idea of being chased around by vampire ladies. That was rather stressful last time and I was very quick to figure out I had no idea where I was going. So I'm going to pick the village area because that was a bigger, more open area. And there were some puzzles that I did try and solve in the half an hour demo, but I just didn't have the time to solve them. Hopefully this time, with the less strict time limit, I will have the time to solve them. So, yeah. Let's just see how this goes. I hope people have enjoyed the videos that I've put out lately. The uh, Pokemon Snap video was quite fun to record. Uh, update on my computer situation. I've sorted out all my recording problems and I've sorted out all my driver and hardware problems and software problems. So everything is now fully operational on the new laptop. So no more recording off the old laptop. Thank goodness. Because that thing was just... In life and in death we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? Oh boy. Creepy old lady again. Yeah, she definitely reminds me of um, Dalai Gillespie uh, in Silent Hill. So yeah, officially this will be the first video I record off my new laptop using for recording and collecting footage and microphone stuff. Anyway, let's start exploring. Infantry appears to be the same as last time, got a knife and a handgun and healing and a healing water. I've kept the brightness the exact same from the second video, so it should be quite pleasing to whoever watches this. Okay, grab some chem fluid. Uh, let me think now. Topics for this video. Well, recently I've been trying out uh, a few new games on my Nintendo Switch. Uh, one which I bought in the sale. Well, it's an sort of like an exclusive sale. Okay, this is a lockpick drawer. I can't open that. No lockpicks. That's fine. Yeah, on the uh, Switch right now is a sale on. Let's say if you bought Ocean Horn 1, which is a... Uh, 2D 
well, 2.5D isometric uh, Zelda game, you can now get Ocean Horn 2 for 35% off its original pl price, which was £25. And now it's. So if you have the first game, you can now buy the second game for around about £16, which is definitely what, a, a more pleasing price than they originally had for the game, which was around about £30. So, yeah, I took the opportunity of this cheaper price, okay, that's locked, to buy Ocean Horn 2. I, I am thinking about making a video on Ocean Horn 2, just the um, open of the game. I haven't played it yet, because I want to keep my opinions for the for the video and sort of like a reaction sort of thing. But I did enjoy the first Ocean Horn, it was a nice 2D Zelda. This appears to be more like a, a 3D Zelda. I have heard mixed things about Ocean Horn 2. People said it's a, sort of like the older Zelda games, like Ocarina of Time, and in terms of like controls and stuff, you got you can attack with your sword. Okay, got some scrap. This tractor has seen better days. It looks like it had um, an angry fight with this tree. So. Smashing. Ooh. Don't remember this. Oh. Never mind. I can't go down there. I thought I could open that door and go into the cellar. Whatever game. So, yeah, I am thinking of doing a video on Ocean Horn 2. The game looks like a, a fun 3D Zelda clone. Crows or ravens in the background? Nope. Overall, this seems very gothic. Uh, a few comments on how Capcom has handled the um, Resident Evil 8 demo launch. My thoughts and opinions are as follows. Ooh, Herb. I think that uh, this demo launch was handled somewhat poorly. I think they should have uh, given us an hour in the village and an hour in the castle. Rather than just having two demos. Guess this leads Okay, this is that puzzle of the coins I to the castle. found earlier on in the found in the, in the other video. Yeah, I think they should have given us two demos. An hour in the village and an hour in the castle. Because there just wasn't enough time to explore everything and figure out what to do. I'm. I think I can only play this hour version of the demo once. I think. I think I can only play it once. Which? Okay, a moon crest. A crude drawing of a map. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, overall, I just think Capcom needed to give gamers a bit more time to explore the demos rather than just giving them half an hour. Because it just didn't feel right or turn out well. Uh, there's some monsters somewhere. Not entirely sure where. It's probably the um, werewolves or the very hairy men. From what I remember from the first demo. I'm going to block this way in so that they, they can't come and get me. Well, I'll take Explorer's house. I've only got 20 bullets. Okay, got a landmine here. This, this, we're definitely handy. Okay. Got my shotgun. That's nice. Over ten hangar bullets. Cool. Shotguns only got one shell, which is not great. 
I was hoping for a little bit more um, ammo for that, because so far I've, the only weapons I've used in these two demos have been the handgun and the knife. Which, right, is there, is there any way out of this house so I don't have to move that? That appears to be a negative, okay. Oh, wait, gunpowder, yeah, I'll take that with me. Okay, let's push this back. And head up here. What's my feelings on Resident Evil 8 so far? Well, I have mixed feelings. The uh, vampire ladies, yes, they're creepy. Um, some of the Resident Evil fan base think, find them attractive or seductive. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say no. <laughs> they definitely do not have that vibe for me. They're just they're, they're, they're too um vampir vampirish and deadly for to have it. That sort of vibe for me. But welcome to the world of the internet. Everything is a kink, and everything can be sexy in some ways. I didn't quite know how else to construct that sentence because the internet sometimes has some weird stuff on it. So, yeah, yes, the uh, vampire leader is scary and definitely unsettling. Am I thinking about picking up Resident Evil 8? From what I've played... I am mean, intrigued about the story for pretty much one reason. What has happened to Chris Redfield and, and why did he kill um, Ethan's wife? That is the one reason I, I'm interested. It's quite a good reason, but yeah. Okay, it appears that I've got unstuck. I'll have to figure out how to get back. On track, aha, just press X and jump over the wall. Of course. We should be as careful as possible don't when I'm running. Never mind! Hello, beautiful! And by beautiful, I mean the hand that I'm holding my hand. Which for some damn reason is held together by sellotape. Please die, I've pumped enough lead into you. Healing water, save me. Okay, I, I think I've managed to survive that encounter. Oh yeah, the guard, but I keep forgetting about that. No! You're, you're still coming. Look, Mr. Crazy Hairy Villager Caveman nonsense. Please, would you kindly... Piss off. And let me look for my daughter. I do not have to use the shotgun on you. Fine, if you want it, I will give it to you. No? Are we done? Okay, that was a weird encounter. I'm gonna make a, another health bottle here. And... Um, I haven't got enough scrap to make a small hanger now, so I have to manage what I've got. Woot. Okay. Close the door, please. Hey, what are you doing here? Right, I'm gonna skip this because we've already seen this. This is the um, dad and her daughter. Dad gets turned into a zombie. We we already know what happens. Dad gets turned into a monster. We already know what happens, so there's no point watching the cutscene and wasting more precious demo time. So, yeah. If you're disappointed with me skipping that cutscene this time, sorry, but 
I want to use this demo time this time to explore the village and see what more the game has to on offer besides story because the last demo I ended up watching a lot of cutscenes and I didn't really have time for much else Right, that's where the um, second crest is. I'll have to get that later once I obtain the tool to open the door. Right. Open this gate. Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry! Okay, we're... Sure, Get inside. Oh. And here we are back in the house after the uh everything broke out. Uh. This way. Yeah, I'll come this way more. I'm just gonna look at these pictures because I didn't get a chance to look at these pictures in the last step. Village demo. Look for any clues or if they can help me. Mm. Looks like a pretty normal village. All things considered. Time period, it seems to be sort of um, Victorian or in the room. past. Because a lot of the old clothes and a lot of the characters seem to have um, like big dresses and all that sort of stuff and rather simple clothes. Although this girl seems to be wearing a long skirt and a jumper. So yeah. Right, house is on fire so let's escape once again. We all know what happens to the people in the village, which is quite unfortunate. I was hoping to save at least one of them, but according to the game story, I can't. Okay, grab this more money, which I can use at the merchant, although I'm not so sure if the merchant appears in the uh, village. We did find the merchant in the castle and I managed to buy a shotgun and talk to him for a little while and see what he was like as a character. He seemed alright enough, but he didn't seem to have the same uh, theatrical uh voice and character as the merch from Resident Evil 4, who I definitely prefer. Okay, got my screwdriver and my uh, truck key. Let's get out of here before I become the equivalent of a of a burnt Cornish pasty. Damn, the fire's moving fast. <coughs> Getting the truck. Dashboard is still absolutely terrible. I don't know where I bought this car from, but I want my money back. Step back. We can bust out with this. And through, the, through we go. Don't worry. And try not to breathe in the smoke. Right. I know. Thank you, Ethan. You're welcome, lady, who is going to die soon. Kind. I hope your family is safe. I kind of wish the story too. was Once we get changed up, this game. I would have liked to have seen this character a little bit more. Because she does seem interesting. Come on, it'll hold. And rescuing people from a village is kind of what... Or rescuing characters from a haunted scenario is there. kind of what Ethan did That's in... That's our way out. Thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them, there's too many. Hey, 
<laughs> hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Oh, dear. Father? <gasps> Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. <laughs> All right, well, sadly, Elena dies, and we, and is now with her father. Which, is, in some cases, is a better place for her. I just... I suppose okay. better than being torn apart by monsters in the village, but I would have liked to have rescued her and saved her. Because in Resident Evil 7, one of the uh, plot lines was about... Uh, apart from back. rescuing your wife, you also end up rescuing Zoe. Why the fuck is this happening who was again? A character who helped you throughout the game. <sighs> Shit! Helped you find your wife and helped you find ingredients to a to like a cure so you could save your wife and also yourself. Cause you were infected with the uh with the uh, mold virus. Okay, screwdriver. Twisty turny. And open we go. And that's what's like in crest. So now I'm gonna go solve that puzzle that I found earlier. Oh, gunshots. Who's there? Stop! As we know from the Previous demo, the uh, there was a man who got killed by a hairy, by a monster, and he didn't like us very much, and he protested us of being let in the house to safety, and then he was killed by a hairy monster man. Yeah, I didn't like that character very much. Anyway, from now on, I'll be playing as normal. I won't be skipping any more cutscenes. I just wanted to skip the majority of the cutscenes that we'd already seen so that we could explore more of the demo. Right. I'm going to make us some more bullets because we're definitely going to need them. And now we've got a decent cash of twin of thirty two in total. Which definitely makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. I always like to have plenty of ammo in survival horror games. And plenty of weapons. Just plenty of tools just to stop the things from trying to kill me. I'm not a sort of person who uses a knife Death. all the time. Yes. Death has visited them all. <laughs> you are a very creepy lady. <laughs> um, I think I'll stay away from you. I don't really want to chat to you too much because you're just creeping me out. Okay. On to said puzzle. Right, let's uh, see if I can twisty turn this into the right. There we go. That was relatively easy. That's the uh, demon's face. And this looks like a person's face. Looks somewhat Greek. So I'm going to twist that into the face, and boosh, we got it. Easy peasy. Right, what is behind this door? Oh, so far we've got a creepy looking um, woodland area. Nothing but blood and death. Huh? Oh. Okay, that appears to be the end of the demo. That was weird. I was hoping to explore a little bit more, but 
it appears that's all the game had for me. Well, if the game lets me out, I'll, I'll explore some more of the castle, so I can make this video just a little bit longer. Be right back. Okay. I skipped the trailer so that we could have more time. And now I'm going to continue this video and we're going to explore more of the castle. So, yeah, all you have to explore the village is that area, solve that puzzle, then the game cuts to a trailer, and that's the end of that part of the demo. So, since I've still got 37 minutes on my timer, we'll go back to the castle. So, let's see what I can find in this time in this crazy gothic castle. Hopefully, not a crazy vampire woman who wants to slice my jugular and drink all my blood. That's a very terrifying... ...thought. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm gonna find a crazy vampire lady and she's gonna want to drink my blood. I, I already know how this plays and goes. Right, I think I'll find the merchant again first, because I'm, I'm gonna need some heavy weaponry to in order to defend myself from the from the vampiric bitch. She's definitely not friendly. I'm not gonna be able to sit with her and have a tea party or a nice dinner. Let's see, uh, what games have I been playing lately? Uh, Dragon Quest V. Quite enjoying it, it's a, quite a good fun RPG. I, I recently... escaped from a... from a prison camp where I was forced to um, work in an aquarium and that sort of thing. My, in the game, the uh... okay, got the uh, ring again. In the game, the child is a uh, father's died, and he's been sentenced to a, a life of slavery. Obviously, you escape with uh, the young Prince Henry. And then you end up exploring it around the area. Okay, got some more Kemp flu fluid. The area nearby. Once I um, figured out where I was going at, at this point in the game, I. Okay, more gunpowder. End up going to a village called Fortune, which had a, had like a, a casino filled with mini games, uh, slot machines, and um, blackjack tables and roulette tables and all that sort of stuff. There was also like a board game where you could use tickets, roll dice, and you could win fabulous prizes. Where have they taken? And books? After searching Fortune City, I found um, the um, one of the main draws of the game, which was the uh, monster side quest, where you can, well, not side quest, the monster mechanic, where you can recruit monsters. Okay, got the eye, and use them as party members, which is a very interesting mechanic because I've always liked the monster designs of the Dragon Quest characters because they're all they're all drawn by Kira Toriyama and they I've always liked his artwork is it's appealing and interesting definitely. And I've on my travels through the game I've recruited some monsters, I've got a slime a, a bat, a mud monster, 
Um, a, a slime knight, I think it's called. I, I can't remember all the names for the monsters. Some of them are quite punny. So they're all quite whimsical and fun. And, and they all have various abilities. We've got this mushroom that can poison things and put things to sleep, which is quite useful because... At this point, I don't really have a mage, so I'm using the monsters just to sort of fill in the gaps in the party. Anyway, after getting Henry back to his kingdom and explaining to his father what happened while he was forced to work in a, in a mine, I end up splitting from Henry. Henry's gone back to being a prince and learning how to rule a kingdom. And, I, and I'm on the quest to find that there's a Niffin hero. There's a Niffin hero as a person who's destined to save the world from the evil wizard in the game. Just have a quick drink. And I managed to find the Zenithian soul, which my dad hid away. Safekeeping, because if anybody found it, it would be who was evil. It would be bad. It needed to be kept safe and given to the hero once it, the hero was found. And I explored a cave after a hint from a village. So, and the cave was was saber. Which is like a saber tooth uh, cat monster. In the movie, Saber was called Percy, so I'm not so sure what the kind of name of uh, the saber tooth cat is. Is it Percy or Saber? The default name of the game it is Saber, so I left it as that. But, yeah. Okay, it looks like we've got, got three sisters. These are possibly the uh, vampiric sisters. They're, they're depicted quite. I want to say I want to say pretty, but considering that that one of them's already tried to kill me, I don't know what to say anymore. But yeah, it's, an, it's quite a nice painting. So, yeah, I've, I've reunited with my saber tooth tiger kitty friend. He, Saber's all grown up, he's a fully grown saber tooth tiger now. And he's very good in battle. Definitely glad to have him back on the team. Running around the game and collecting monsters was quite challenging because having the uh, main character as my only party member was making things quite difficult in the in the case of having decent spells and abilities and stuff like that. But I had to make do with what I had and I managed, eventually. Okay, more hangover mounds. Now, where's that damn merchant? Where is he? I, I, I know he's nearby and I'm going to need him because... Door's locked. Fine. Can I go for this door? One more. Ah, cool. Now I've got to go through a desert in Dragon Quest V and continue on with the game stuff. Game story. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's good. Other games I've been playing lately. Uh, Lost Spear, it's, I'm still enjoying it, although I, I did lose a boss fight, which, and I f sort of forgot to save, so I lost a bit of um, progress, but I am going to get back to that, and hopefully possibly finish it by the end of May. Let's see, other games I've been playing lately, well I've been... I hope you all enjoyed the uh, Buzz and Tales video I managed to put out. I, I had fun making that, it was, it was enjoyable. Uh, Buzz and Tales itself, I am hoping to finish it by the end of May, if all goes well. 
I do need to research the fire dungeon in order to figure out where where I need to go and hopefully finish up the game. Just to make the episode flow back. I don't want to be walking around the uh, evil wizard's castle aimlessly. I, I just noticed I'm fighting a lot of evil wizards in my games lately. Um, there's one in Dragon Quest and there's one in uh, Blossom Tales. But it's a, it's, an, it's a quite an old trope, Crystal Fragment. There's always a bad guy in fantasy games, and a lot of the time it's a wizard. There's basically no music in Resident Evil 8, which is quite uh, disappointing, I suppose. I was hoping... ...for at least some ambient sound effects. Anyway, let's put this in here, and... Right, that leads to the corridor where the woman will attack me. I, I know that. So I'm going to use this door and try and find the uh, merchant. More camp fluid. Okay, go. Diary, but I don't have time to read that. Okay, I can't even use the map that much. That's, a, that's kind of annoying. Right, I'm going to head back downstairs and try and find the merchant because I'm not going in that corridor without the sh that shotgun again. Otherwise, I am going to get wrecked. I feel like I'm going to get wrecked regardless. I don't think I can actually <clears throat> stop that uh, vampiric woman. She feels like she's a somewhat unstoppable way in the end. Possibly pursues you throughout the games. A lot of Capcom games have enemies that, that pursue you and appear unkillable until a certain point in the story has been passed. It's a trope that I'm Not always a fan of in in horror games. I don't mind it because it it keeps things interesting in terms of pacing and stuff like that. But it definitely makes things more frantic than I than I would like. Ah, here we go. Here's the merchant. Oh, we meet again, Duke. Why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Domitresque? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? Yeah, clever. A rocket launcher, please. Oh, yes. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit excessive, but I've gotten some new stock. Right. Uh, I'm gonna buy me a shotgun <laughs> and that is pretty much all I can afford. So I'm. Pay me no mind. I'm gonna sell these two items. Wait, no. Can I come? I remember being able to combine items together in Resident Evil Four. Is that a thing that I can do? Please come again. Okay, this crystal fragment doesn't appear to be anything special. Now, if it is this um, wine glass, I can, I can just sell these. As you wish. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. I'm going to keep the hand going and keep 
and all my other tools. It's definitely a good idea. Okay, I've got. What are you buying? <laughs> Just something an old friend of mine used to say. An old friend, eh? So you know the merchant from us, it'll fall. Interesting. Personally, I'd have rather met the merchant from us, it'll fall, but whatever. Right. I'm going to upgrade the firepower to level two. Mm -hmm. What? Ah, oh, it's fine. All finished. And then I'm going to buy myself some more. Shotgun rounds. <laughs> Till next we meet. And that should hopefully defend me from God knows what's coming next. <laughs> Goodbye, merchant. Thank you for your services. Hopefully this shotgun protects me from what comes next. <laughs> This is a somewhat odd contraption, it looks. Possibly a puzzle in the game, some sort of moving bridge puzzle, I'm guessing, for the castle. It's like some sort of mechanical model. Let's see what other games have been playing there. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the Pokemon Snap video I put out. I have been playing that game a little bit more lately, and I've managed to unlock the second level. I haven't played the second level yet, but I've managed to unlock it. Pokemon Snap appears um, somewhat grindy in the way it plays. You have to collect enough pictures of um, Pokemon in order to unlock new levels and each picture gives you a certain amount of points and therefore you get experience points and unlock stuff. I have been thinking about making another video on Pokemon Stab and possibly showing off the second level but I'll have to see if I have time for that. I, I enjoyed playing through it. It was, it was nice that the levels both had a day and a time and a night time. Okay, in we go. Shotgun at the ready. Oh, here she comes. I haven't cut open a man. And in a while. Let me String you up. Slice your jugular and just watch. Taking a lie, dead Why? I. Why can't we be friends? Seriously, I am a nice guy. Yes, I brought a shotgun, but it was for self defense. Oh, is it now? Good for you. Would you would you mind pumping it away from me? You look wonderful mounted in our hall. Right, uh I'm gonna head Let's see, where can I go? Let's see is anything in the wine room? I, I I think I've managed to scare her off. That that, that the blast from the shotgun at, at close range seemed to indicate that I am not Willing to play her games, <laughs> which is good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that went the way I expected. I'm gonna quickly make myself into a health bottle here. Don't really 
have enough scrap to make any more bullets, so that's that's fine. I've got, I've got 30 rounds in the, in the handgun, it's fine. So that should be fine. Uh, let's see, I have been wanting to get back to new Super Lucky's Tale. I'm hopefully going to get back to that game once I finish off with Blossom Tales. I haven't forgotten about the series, I just want to finish Blossom Tales first. And it's just a funny time to record things and... All that sort of stuff. Don't want to rush new Super Lucky's Tale too much. Blossom Tale didn't much either since I'm so much close to the end of the game. And the random special episode on random games is quite fun just to experience random stuff every now and again. Okay. Right, uh, she seems to have cleared off, which is which is good. I, I'm I'm quite pleased with that. I I was somewhat worried that the uh, shotgun wouldn't be enough, but since I upgraded to level two in firepower, it, it did seem to do the trick. So we can now explore this place and see what's else this castle has to offer. Don't think I can go this way. Uh, if it, if this video ends up with me fumbling around in the dark and not knowing where I'm going, I apologise. Most of this area is new to me and I haven't really had the chance to explore it because of the short time limit. Okay, got another quarter of an hour left. Let's see. More handgun rounds, probably need those. Right. Can I do anything with these? This there's these um four statue bust thingies that I have to do something with. And they obviously open this big door. Looks like quite a complex puzzle. I probably won't have time to solve it. Uh, back with the merchant. Nah, I haven't got anything to solve that. Something about a labyrinth? Hopefully it does not um, have a goblin king and we have to uh, save a child. <laughs> Sorry, but every time a game mentions labyrinth I always think of the movie Labyrinth. Which is quite an odd movie. I've only seen it once or twice. Somewhat fun. Okay, through here. Oh, I still need a lockpick for that, damn it. I haven't got a lockpick. Can I buy one from the merchant, perhaps? That'll be an easy option. Let's. Well, I don't really have many funds left after. Shotgun in the lady. Naturally. No, I can't buy anything. You useful? This is all an investment, even. Till next we meet. Right. Head back upstairs, see what 
else I can explore. And all right, can I open this door? Okay, that's locked. It's a, just a normal fireplace, no secret passage, but God check things because I found a lot of sick patches lately in this game. Right, let's see what's in here. Okay, nothing. Nothing special really. Right, looks like the only path is upstairs. So I'll have to go back upstairs and explore some more. Right. Uh, the corridor with the woman, I'm, that's probably my only option. So let's very quickly. Trying to work up my appetite, are you? Oh, oh boy. I shotgunned you to the to the torso. Please have another. Mother said stale, but I think it's delicious. Apparently I am delicious. I don't quite know how to respond to that. Not many people Not have bad. ever described me as delicious. Okay, healing water. Healing water. Probably a good idea now. I am not a boy, I'm a man with a shotgun and a very short temper for people who keep biting me. You are fine, I will drop down here. What's the worst that could happen? Ouch. That's one hell of a fall. But I seem to be safe for the moment. He hopes. <laughs> Things are getting crazy. That used to be food. It's kind of rotten and unsightly. What do I think of the graphics for this game? Well, I'm playing the PS4 version again. Because I have no PS5. And they're quite hard to find these days due to the current state of the world. Oh, music. Uh oh. I think I found Mother Miranda. As she bows to get through the door. I don't want to follow her. This this is going to end badly for me no matter what I do. Alright. Uh... Okay, that, that does lot. Good, I don't have to follow the um, tall tall vampire lady. I'm, I'm quite happy about that. She seemed very dangerous. Okay, about nine minutes left. All right, quickly get a herb and go in here. Okay, got more Greek artwork. And 
Aha, I've got a little puzzle here. got to push the flame and light the torches. Very simple puzzle. I, I can do this. Come on. Game. The first one was easy. Can we please cooperate? That's better. I'm on a very strict time limit. I haven't got time for any complicated puzzle shenanigans. Okay, this looks like a torture device. Ew. It's sort of some sort of dungeon and a, a toilet. Ew. Ew, this is... Oh, uh, uh, this is very unsettling. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Help me, brother. Well, oh dear. Yeah, this is um, definitely unsettling. This is one of the reasons why I'm not so sure if I want to play Resident Evil 8. I'm not the biggest fan of um, torture horror or torture devices. Just makes me feel very unsettling in terms of horror games. Ew. This is very ew. I'm not I'm not liking this this area. Can I go back to the castle please? This this dungeon is all sorts of messed up. <laughs> or maybe I should, should, should just go home and just re Assess my life and not get eaten by vampires. Okay, yes, I need to save my daughter, but <laughs> I don't know if if I was gonna come out alive at this rate. All right, I'm gonna save my um, scrap and other materials for later, just in case. I've got plenty of ammo right now. I wouldn't mind making some more shotgun shells, but I don't think I'll have time to acquire the materials and the recipes. Okay, what was that noise? I, I, I hear snarling, I hear growling, I hear screaming. I hear horror sounds. Stay back. I have a shotgun and I know how to use it. it. Come into my trap, said the spider to the fly. Oh, I don't know whether I'm the spider or the fly here. The point is, I'm just trying to stay alive. And appears leading through the doors yielded the correct result I required. Those were some weird things. They're like... A village with, with like, hooks to slash people with. <laughs> okay. I still hear snarling and growling. So... I'm guessing we're not done yet with these creepy things. Both of you stay back, seriously. I am armed and dangerous. 
Eat. Eat my tiny pistol bullets. <laughs> Okay, I, th I think I got them all. Yeah, I know I need to craft more ammo game. I, I am working on that. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go first. Okay, this guy has procur procured a sword. I'm going to have to teach him a lesson about playing with sharp objects. Best to heal myself again. Just overpowering my tiny knife. The tiny knife is for once might and the big sword. Can I please take that with me? Although it is very rusty, so maybe not. Maybe not take the rusty sword. Right, I'm gonna craft myself some more bullets, because I have basically no ammo left. Crafting away healing. Water and okay, off we go. Back up here. Hope I didn't miss anything, but okay, that needs a key or a lock pick, I presume. Cassandra caused all this mess. Why? Don't cause me trouble. Seriously, what is it with this game and vampires chasing me? I hate stupid men. Well, if you hate men so much, why are you bothering me? Seriously, I just want to find my daughter and go home. I mean you no harm. The only reason I am doing harm to you is because you're trying to kill me. Okay, she's being very creepy. I, I, I do not like this woman. I don't like any, any of the women in this game so far. Uh, oh. Very creepy. Well, it appears I have run out of time. Well, I'm going to leave the video here, guys. Thanks again for joining me on this DBT Gamer special on the Resident Evil 8 demo. I hope it was fun and enjoyable for you to watch. Please like, comment and subscribe. I might buy Resident Evil 8. I am intrigued about where the story is going, but I am finding the, the characters, especially the villains, really creepy and the environment really creepy. So I might do some research on the game before I actually uh, dive into it. Because I'm still quite unsure what's going to happen. The game is actually being released on May 7th, which is towards the end of this week. So, yeah, it's coming out very soon. Anyway. On the note of finishing off... Our third trek through the demo. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always and protected us. I will see you guys 
in my next video, which will hopefully be a special on Ocean Horn 2. Please like, comment, and subscribe.